All right, everybody. E3 is all over. The and dust has settled. The dust has settled. <laughs> I know a lot of people were disappointed that there wasn't enough, but we do have a pretty decent list yeah. of games that we're excited for. We're actually got a, I have a list for myself. She has a list. I have for, a list. And then we have a list combined that is more like co-op yeah. stuff that we're both interested in. So without further ado, yes. let's jump into the list. We're going to start with mine first. Yours and first. mine, I have the Uden Chronicles. Um, there's Rising and uh, I think it's the called hundred. The Hundred Heroes. Yeah. Now, I think they're both slated. Rising, I think, is coming out in 2022 and the Hundred Heroes is coming out in 2023. Yes. That's... A little ways away. Um, it has a really cool art style. I like it. It that for, that's what for me in. because I'm not a huge RPG guy. Mm -hmm. The graphics absolutely look beautiful, and the um, the fighting animations that they showed in the trailer. I know there wasn't a lot of trailer, and there's not much for gameplay. Well, at least they showed. But some. I'm interested. Yeah. It's. Uh, with all these games, we're going to say, is it going to be a day one purchase, or are we going to wait, or whatever? Uh, it's going to be on Game Pass, so, day one. So, so, it's day one? I will definitely be trying it. Yeah. Um, hopefully, if I enjoy it, there will be a physical release, because you know what I'm like. Exactly. I want to have a physical release. Well, I don't think any collector wants an only digital or only physical game. You're narrowing the market, and somebody I watch on YouTube actually mentioned that and yeah. I watched their video and I agree. You should have physical and you should have digital. Like, keep everybody happy. And the next one on the list is Babylon Fall. Babylon Fall. I showed you a trailer of this real quick there because you didn't know. And it's a uh, hack and slash. Um, probably some RPG aspects to it, I'm assuming there. But uh, it's definitely right up my yeah. alley. When it, it could, would it remind you kind of, kind of a... Um, Devil May Cry, yes. maybe, but not really. I mean, kind of God of War, like understand. that hack and slash. Yeah, that's why I don't yeah. understand why I don't add these games to my list. Yeah. Because they're not the first ones I'm going to grab for. But then I get into a game like this, and I'm like, holy they're shit, fun. yes. They're, they're fun. fun. They're really fun. Yeah. And that's right up. They're easy play. Yeah. Most times. And it makes you want to go back mm -hmm. and play. There's no apprehension to be like, oh, yeah. shit, this is going to be a long part, or this is going to yep. be... Whatever. It's, to it's me, the game. graphics don't look amazing in the trailers. It might but just not be polished yet. Yeah, the yeah. game's not done yet. Um, another game that is a very similar gameplay style to that is Final Fantasy Origin uh, Stranger in Paradise. Yes, and that's another one. That's on another one. It For me, I know there uh, seems to be a lot of fan Watching YouTube, watching um, other channels, uh, people aren't really crazy about it. Yeah. Because it's not really a Final Fantasy kind of game. It's a hack and slash st uh, style. And there's also, it's not off to a great start because they put the demo out the same day and the demo didn't uh, work. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it's not going to be a day one purchase for me. It'll no. be something I keep an eye on. As long as, uh, same with uh, Babylon Fall. I didn't mention that, I didn't say that before, but Babylon Fall won't be day one, but I'll definitely grab it eventually. Now, you mentioned that uh, Final Fantasy isn't like a typical Final Fantasy in yeah. that it's more of a hack and slash. Yep. I I know you don't want to go away from your origins, uh, but if you can pull more people into enjoying Final Fantasy, then they may strive and be like, they may stretch themselves and say, okay, maybe now, I will try different... Final Fantasy games, even though it's not my typical playstyle. Yeah, maybe. I, I guess what they're going for a is a more uh, dark, more brutal. They're kind of trying to make it feel a little Dark Souls. I I like that. I yeah. I think that's a cool that's, cool take on it. But next one on my list is Metroid Dread. I think that was on a lot of people's, a lot of people's list. list. Will it be a day one purchase? Probably not. <laughs> I do enjoy my Metroid games, but I am not like a hardcore fan. I'm not going to go out and pay full yeah. price day one and get it. I'll, I'll get it eventually. There's few games yeah. I even think that were day one in at... There are a couple on this list. I definitely have a handful on the list yes. that are going to be day one. But for the most part, if you can wait on a game, you can get it. You're okay. better off paying half or oh, even yeah. less if you can get it. You know, yeah. If you can wait six months or more. 
would be better off. Next one on my list might be a day one. Might be a day. I, you know what? It might be a day one purchase. I this skipped me. I didn't. I didn't look at it initially. I just showed her the trailer of it, and she got all pumped up. I'm like, up why and... is this not on my list? I kind of wanted to erase it from our whiteboard because no, we have everything. No, my list isn't that long, so I have to keep. It I right know, now. and I want to put all it right. in our list. It's Trek to Yami. Yeah, it it's, looks so cool. It's very um, black and white, uh, kind of old samurai movie style, yeah. side scrolling swords uh, it, it looks phenomenal it does i question whether there's going to be a physical release to it or not i hope so i hope so i don't know i'll have to wait and see and the next one is going to be a day one purchase and this is the last one on your list the last one on my list i knew about i knew about it before uh, e3 and i've been pumped and i've been telling my friends and showing them check this one out yeah it's sifu if you don't know what it is, Sifu is, uh, it's, I think, Chinese or Cantonese or whatever for a master, like a Kung Fu master. Oh, okay. That's, so if you didn't know, yeah. you know, that's a pretty bad explanation of it because I didn't really know <laughs> myself. But uh, when you watch gameplay or watch a trailer for it there, it's it's the beat em up that I've always wanted my whole life to be able to play. Like, you, you want to be Bruce Lee. Yeah. You know? And it just looks so cool i if it plays half as well as it looks i'm gonna be you're gonna be over so the moon. happy so looks like we're not spending a whole lot of money on day one purchases from your list no one couple there maybe two maybe two maybe two all right so now that we're done with his list we're gonna come on to my list Her list my list um my list for the games that I just picked for myself. It's kind of dark and creepy there. Dark and creepy, but these, like, I love my Limbo, Little Nightmares. Yeah. I love a lot of survival horror too, but these are games that you can play in a short little amount of time, get what you need out of a game, yeah. and be like, I that was a good it experience. It was like, it's like they haven't announced how long they're going to be, but looking at gameplay and... Seeing, play style. Play style and seeing games that you've played before and knowing how short they are, that they... I feel like they're going to be somewhere between that four but and six hours. But I think sometimes you need that out of a Absolutely, game. Absolutely, because you can't. They can't you know, all be thirty hours. You can't hour drag games. them out there. Yeah, yeah, like the story has to be phenomenal to be thirty hours plus. Yeah, uh, we're going to talk about Aragami Two first. I was kind of surprised it wasn't on your list, uh, but I do understand because you're not I'm much not into stealth. I'm not a stealth guy. I'll turn a stealth game into a Rambo game in a heartbeat. There, you will. <laughs> And then get pissed off when it doesn't work. <laughs> that's true. Well, and that's what I really appreciated about this game was its stealth combat. Yeah. And you can also go invisible, which I thought was really cool, and then come up oh, and attack yeah. enemies. Yeah. So I was like, for what? It's like what? a stealth ninja game. Yes. For the little bit of trailer that we saw, I was really intrigued, and I thought that could be a game I could get into because sometimes I like to play stealth. You, I enjoy definitely that. like stealth over actually going in guns a blazing. Well, I would like to play like seventy five percent stealth, twenty five percent. Once I know there's a, only a couple enemies, on the I'm, other like, way. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, on the other way, I'm probably like ninety percent go in, kick your face off there, and ten percent I'm gonna sneak <laughs> up on you, tap you on the shoulder, and then kick your face off. And then kick your face off. <laughs> yeah. So that was the one game that I think that like most people during E3 were like, yeah, that's a really cool game. I seen it. You were, eh, whatever. Yeah. The next game, uh, Plague Tale Requiem. Truth be told, I haven't played the first one yet, but I have it on good authority from a good YouTube friend, Retro Wolf. Retro Wolf. He said I would really, really enjoy it. I have watched the gameplay for both. I know it would be a game for me. There are some stealth elements to this one too. So I don't know what to expect stealth, from the second one. Will yeah, they like add if, more? Some stealth elements in, is it like a kind of a survival horror? It's creepy. It's, it's creepy. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a plague ridden world. In the second one, it seems like she's, she's on a mission to rescue her brother. The next two games I'm gonna mention together, Blacktail and Martha is Dead, because yep. they really had the same sort of feel to me. Um, not necessarily completely a walking simulator, but they really put me in that mindset of... What was the game I compared? Martha's was... Dead? What Remains of Edith Finch? Yes, but Blacktail 
reminded me. That's the one with the bow and arrow, right? That's the one with the bow and arrow, yeah. And that reminded me of the one you played where you're a baby walking through just because of that first person Yes, view Among the Sleep. Among the Sleep. That's yeah. what kind of reminded me. And I know it's not going to be the same, but it, it kind of had that feel to it when it I was did. watching the trailer. And I'm hoping some people that are not wanting a heavy RPG game or a heavy combat game will appreciate my list. Because sometimes you just want an easy game. You just yeah. want to, not easy, but this like is, sit down and have for fun. For the most part, this is all speculation because until you actually see I know. solid gameplay, the game's out, see solid, you know, you I, know what it is, really then we're all know. kind of guessing for sure. The next one on my list, Bramble the Mountain King. Uh, not entirely sure what it's about. Yeah, there's aspects of that game I watched like during the trailer. I was like, oh! That looked cool. Yeah. And then other aspects, I'm like, I'm going to fall asleep. But that that little dude is just stabbing the shit yeah. out of something. And the I'm like, part that I, what's going on? You thought it was cool, too. Your your looks like you're jumping on big leaves. Yes, you're leapfrogging the water, across the pond. And then, then this big thing comes out. So that, that makes me think that it's kind of like a little nightmares kind of thing. You know, where you're a little person compared to all the other people. Yeah, it's... It's really, like I said, I love those creepy little puzzle platformers. Yeah. So I'm hoping this this was announced, I think I even seen gameplay trailer from like two years ago on this one. Is it coming out this year? Uh, 2022, I do yeah. believe. So I'm, I'm hoping. Are any of these so far day one purchases? I don't think so. I don't think any of them are day one purchases. No. I think there's ones on our list that will be day one purchases oh, yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the very last one on the list is Somerville. I really wanted to play this game because it is from the same people that made Inside. Is that the one where we think it's the aliens? It, well, it's a family sitting on a couch and then they're running away from something and it seems like at one point the dad might be dead and the mother's like trying to get the kid up and scurry away and I don't know yeah. what's going on. Like there wasn't enough there for me to know what the hell is really going on but i know how much i loved isn't, inside isn't that awesome how they kind of like just dangle like mystery <laughs> dangle the carrot. mystery like, carrot there There you go yeah. yeah so there was enough there that i'm definitely intrigued like scott mentioned none of these are going to be day one purchases no i honestly think those ones are going to be like uh maybe a year later you pick them up on the cheap there at a pawn the shop the problem is and with they those, might not even be physical releases the problem with is with those more indie style <laughs> games whether these are all indie games or not they <laughs> tend to increase in value so they'll go, yeah. they'll dip down a little bit, then you might see them come back up. And I don't want to get them on the upswing. No. I don't want to get them at that point. All right, so here we are at our list. This is even more exciting to me than our individual list. Oh, fuck yeah. First game on the list is called The Ascent. The Ascent. And it's very, reminds me a lot of Diablo because but it's we like just a, played Diablo. It's like a futuristic. It's like if you took Cyberpunk and Diablo and smashed them together. I, I think it's going to be four player because I assume, I assume, I hope it's going to be all couch co-op. I hope I so assume. too. I assume. I haven't checked it out. If it is, the, this will definitely be on a list for uh, me, you, oh, and Dennis to play. Oh, if it's out on Game Pass, yep. we'll find out whenever the next time Dennis is it off, is, and it'll be the first game we it play It is together. coming out on Game Pass. So. Yeah. And then if we love it, it's going to be one of those games that I have to pick up physically. Exactly. So the next game on the list is Diablo 2 yeah. Resurrected. Yeah. So it's basically Diablo 2 that is remastered, I think. I never played Diablo 2. No, we went straight to we Diablo went to 3. Diablo th yeah, Diablo 3, and we played it on the Xbox Series X. But I was absolutely watching. absolutely loved it. I was watching the trailer for it, and I was like, if we loved 3, we'll love 2 as well. Absolutely. It looked beautiful. Yep. And it was just a, like, I didn't want to stop. I didn't want to stop anytime we had to stop playing. It was like, I just want to finish it tonight. Yeah, like when we played Diablo, it was so fun that. Dennis was like trying to get over here like, I know. many days in a row so we could finish so it. So we could finish yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. It was. So it you was know what blast. you guys are getting when you play Diablo. But this, from what I understand, that Diablo 2 was the best one. Yeah. And uh, I can't wait to play it. I know. So. It's going to be great. Next one on the list we actually knew before E3. Yeah. We even mentioned it in a previous video. My only fucking apprehension is is it going to be one of those open world? 
fighting I, online bullshit games. From like, what I, I know understand, if you love them, then that's your choice. But it's just not my kind of game. You know those games like the Friday the Thirteenth game, there where yeah. it's multiplayer online stuff and one person's hunting Trying the other to survive. crew. And yeah, it's, um, I guess there are going to be aspects of that, but I guess there is going to be a campaign. Whether the campaign is going to be a single player or co-op, co-op, I. If I were a betting man, and I'm not, I would say it's not going to be a split-screen co-op. It'll probably be an online co-op. Yeah. But other than that, it is uh, based off the Netflix series yes. that you never watched. I did watch some of it. I watched almost the entire first season. Did you? Yes. You didn't like it, though, did you? No, I didn't mind it. I think there was just so much going on at it. that time I loved it. that I just didn't I follow it. through watching the I want to watch it again, though. Well, I'll watch it with you. I'm <laughs> anyway, I'm all in there. Anything with Bruce Campbell. Fucking Fuck hero. Yeah. Fucking hero. Next game on the list. I can't tell you how excited I was to see this. Mostly because we couldn't figure out how to fucking download it. <laughs> no, I can download it. I just didn't want to pay the money for it. All right. Okay. It's Fatal Frame, Maiden of Blackwater. It was an Wii U exclusive. Yes. There was no physical copy um, made in, North, in America. North America. It was only Japan, I think. I yes, think I think only so. Only Japan. Yeah. I could download the uh, the digital copy, but I checked that probably a month, month and a half ago, and it was still like. 80 something dollars Canadian for the digital game. 80 for, like, I, I can like, swallow that holy pill. Holy shit. I can swallow that pill and pay $80 for a physical game. Yes. But $80 for I a was, game I can't hold I in my hand. I was this close. I was literally going to pick it up here soon. I bet soon you're because P uh, PlayStation was going to shut down their uh, their store. I know. Online store that would, like, get, oh, everybody started freaking out. And I'm happy Those games went off a price. Out. And it made me think about the Wii U. And I'm yeah. like, how long before that shuts down? And I was like, that's a game I have to have, have to have to have it. Yeah. And when they announced that it was getting a physical release here, holy crap. Yeah. That, yeah. will that be a day one purchase that's for you? That's a day one purchase for me. The next game on the list was a no-brainer for us. You guys have all heard about it. I don't know how much we'll get in depth about this one. Halo Infinite. It's a Halo game. So we, <clears throat> I love Halo games. We love Halo. Yep. It was one of the I'm first still games we played together. Trying to get you nailed down here to play Halo Two with me. Well, we I would have. Halo One. I would have during your vacation, but it got time, busy. Time but, gets away fast. Yes. So time I'm actually time. playing, trying to play through the Halo series with her, uh -huh. and then play through the Gears of War series with my son. You've gotten farther in the Gears of War series, which was yeah, fine by me because if he shows an interest in wanting to play games with Dad, then uh, I want yeah, him to 100%. play games. Like yep. I'll have you forever. You'll have him until he goes off to college Flying. and meets a girl and doesn't worry care about Dad anymore. Oh. So the next game on the list, I only seen it at E3 and I, when I think you showed oh. me you showed me and I was like holy shit yes I'm really dark pictures anthology house of ashes I was so excited this is part of the until dawn series there. yes yes same creators um, oh. Man of Medan Little Hope I loved until dawn so much that I was like I don't know, I just want them in a creepy mansion again. I don't oh, know no. what it no, was. No, you have to change you have I know to change you do have to change it up. I have to. I do think we're going to love it. Oh, yeah. I think that could be... I don't know if it'll have to be a day one purchase, but damn, it'll be hard to wait. It depends on when it comes out. If it comes out around Halloween. Yeah, I think it is. For some reason, <laughs> I it? feel like it is. It's not this year, is it? It might well be. I'd have to check Ooh. that out, but I'll add it in. That might be. It might make it a day one purchase. It might. It might make it a day one yeah. purchase. Yeah. I wonder if it'll be in VR. Oh, shit. <laughs> that would be cool. Next one on the list. Ne I'm saying this one. I know. I'm adding it to my list, too, because no. it's on the backlog. The first one's on the backlog. Whatever. Go ahead. Psychonauts 2. Yes. Now, I played through Psychonauts, the first one. There was a on lot of swearing. There was a lot of swearing. It was that last level. That I know. crazy friggin', uh, what was it called? The Meat Circus or whatever? It was oh fucking my horrific God. There. The platforming on that was difficult. Yep. But I, I got through it. It was a great game. And I loved it. And I, for some reason, I feel like there's a VR Psychonauts. I don't know. We'll have That's to check it out. That's what I thought 
Psychonauts 2 was going to be a VR game. Now, from what I've seen for the trailer of Psychonauts 2, it doesn't look VR to me. It looks like the old uh, format of the old one. It's yeah. platforming. Yeah. You know, pu uh, puzzle solving, platforming. Well, see, that's why I thought I would like it. And I did watch yep. you play a little bit, and I was like, I think I could get into this game. You have to play the first one. I'm starting off my gaming career so far behind everyone but you else. Can, so uh, catch up. The first one is backwards compatible, so you can throw that in the Xbox Series X. Yes. And that'll save you some time. There. That's true. Next one on the list, uh, I think what, some it had some mixed reviews. Some people really, really loved it. Uh, I'm a little skeptical. You're a little skeptical. I like the idea of it, but I'm a little skeptical until I see actual gameplay. Yes, that was the problem, and I yeah. think that was everybody else's problem, yeah. too. Redfall. I love the idea of it. It's all vampires. Oh, yeah. You're hunting vampires. Like post-apocalyptic. I think it's like a first-person view kind of shooter. Maybe. I don't know because it was just all <sighs> cinematic. Don't feel like it's going to be co-op. Anyway, I'm very skeptical. I if Very it's, skeptical. If but it is I like what I the feel idea. like it can be, yep. then I'm. it's not a day one purchase. It's not going to be a day one purchase even if it's couch co-op which i don't think it's going to be yeah but i i'm very very intrigued to see where they'll go with it because i love vampires i love that whole realm like you throw me in with like vampires vamp are making a comeback vampires Vampire, zombies, zombies are done vampires vampires are, are in maybe we can just combo them there and have vampires vampires <laughs> maybe all right these were these two these next two games are going to be bundled in together and we did not even Jeez. expect it, and it's the only post I and, made on social media about and I, E3. I freaked out. I did. I sent it to you. Yes. I was at work there yes. on lunch, looking at my phone. On lunch, looking at my phone, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Oh, <laughs> and yeah. I sent it to her. You got the River City Girls Zero, which is coming out this year, right? This year. So it's a prequel to the first one. Yep. And you got River City Girls Two. Yeah. That's coming out next year, right? Yes. If not the year after, I think I do I think believe it's, it's next, next year. year. I think yeah. it's next year. Either way, we love the first one so much that both of those are going to be day one. Oh, purchases. they'll be day one purchases. They have to be physical. They'll pro. I'm pretty sure it's a limited run, so if you I, don't get them. I do day one, believe they are going to be a limited run. It'll be yeah. a day one purchase. We get to play eight months later. I know. I'll probably end up doing what I did with Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. I just... I bought the digital copy, and then I got my limited it'll run. It'll be hard to wait when you we see We just got else. our friggin' Scott Pilgrim vs. the World this week. I know. Took forever. Good thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway. Day one purchase. Take my money. Yeah. Make it rain. Oh, I got no money. I'm married. Take take her money. <laughs> make it take rain. her money. Make it rain. <laughs> I gotta get both of those. Day one. Yeah. We definitely will be. Yep. Next one, you should you should uh, say this one because you found it. Yes. And I didn't think anything of it until you showed me it. I said, Scott, you need to watch this trailer again yeah. and really pay attention. I don't even it's think I've seen the trailer. It's going to be an awesome game. I don't even you think did. Seen you it. saw it in like a glimpse. You're like, skip because yeah. it was the art style initially well, that didn't really grab you. It's that old indie game, pixelated. Yes, but I saw it and I thought, Bro Force. And oh, yeah, I, see I, I, I could. It's like a mashup of like Bro Force meets Metal Those Gear. Solid, and right? It's, it's, and I don't and even have to say it now. On metal. metal, and it's, uh, it's a spoof on Metal Gear Solid. Yes. I swear, it's, it's a spoof. It's hilarious. Yeah. The, I mean, the one you guys have all like seen that you're probably quoting in your head every time you hear on yeah. Metal is like, "Who's that? Wow, damn cat. Who's that? Another cat. Like." <laughs> It was hilarious. That there it was makes more that. than in even just that there. Yeah. Like, but yeah, thing if it comes out physical or if it's a limited run, I think I have to grab it. I yeah, I think it's going to be one of those games that yep. you're going to see increase in value. I'm not even going to attempt to let Scott try to pronounce the last one. Do you think you have it? No. <laughs> Vocabolantis. See, I can say it now. Vocabolantis. There you go. Um really put us in the mind frame of it takes two yep. uh no way out it looks like you're working together yep. uh, that's what i got from it for yeah it's it's co-op which it's we, co -op. we love it's a co-op it's a looks like a puzzle platforming co-op game 
but it's the art style of it. Yeah. It's stop motion. I think this one's 2023 or 2024. Oh, uh, I can believe it. What worries me is because that, that stop motion animation is very time consuming and very costly that this game never sees the light of day. Oh. That at some point, somebody's going to cut their losses. Like, I don't think they can afford any big delays. I think they'll cut their losses and we don't. Well, I'm things. just wondering if then instead of cutting losses, they'll cut some stuff in the game. Oh, I'm sure they will. Yeah. Yes. But from what, what I've seen... What we see so far, it looks promising. It looks cool. I, it, I think if it does get finished to what we think it will be finished, it, graphically, it's going to be groundbreaking. I think this one, maybe not for you, but I feel like if it is what I hope it can be, it could be a day one purchase for me. You think? Oh my god, I, I just... I, I haven't thought seen it was yet. so cool. I thought it was cool, but I just don't... I haven't seen enough of it yeah. yet, and it's so far down the road. I know, that's We're talking the two years at least. Yeah. That. So day one purchases are going to be the both River City Girls, yeah. uh, Sifu, and... Truck to Yami. And was that the only ones? I think so, because I don't think anything I think so. on my list was a day one purchase. You don't pick good games. You do want Fatal Frame made in a Blackwater That's game. a fucking day one purchase. That's, you didn't That's mention five. it. Five. There you go. There you go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching our late coverage E3 video. But tell we us, need time to get our yeah, thoughts together. Tell us what you guys are looking forward to. I know there are big heavy hitters out there that we didn't mention, but I'm not really excited for them there. I'm not excited Yeah, it's not that those. they won't be fantastic yeah. games. They're just they're maybe not, not our genre. Yeah, they're not our genre. Yeah. Or they're so... They're going to take so much time to play that it scares us a little bit sometimes. Yeah. For me, I, I get scared by a 50, 60, 80, 100 hour well, game. There was games I added. If it was added. a 60, 60 plus hour game, it would take me literally months. Yeah. It would take me there at least There was games two that made my li n list initially that I crossed off. off, but I'll be watching. I'll okay. be watching to see I'll, where they're going, what the gameplay trailers like in the future, and uh, you never know. We might get added onto the list. Maybe. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Until next time. Game on.